Okay, so today you're going to be working on finding the key events in this story. Um, since this is a fictional story, like up, it says up here, um, we're going to be more focused on like the characters, the setting, and the plot. So what are the main things that are happening? So if they didn't happen, our story would be so different. It couldn't really go on. So that's how you can kind of tell if it's a main idea or a main um, event in the story is if without it, the story wouldn't really have anywhere else to go. So make sure you're looking on the sides when you click these. Um, they are going to have some questions for you to answer. Like this one says, who are the characters that you have met on this page? So when you read this page, you're going to write down over here, click and start typing the characters' names that you met. Over on this side, this one says, what is the setting or where does the story take place? So that's telling me um, where the story is happening at. Is it in a city? Is it in a mall? Okay, you have to figure that out. And then um, when you're finding your key events, remember you're going to be using your highlighter tool. So I'm going to do the first key event for you. Um, the introduction says, it is the late, or it's called Sarah and the Chickens. It says, it is the late 1800s in the newly developed farmland of the West. Sarah, a young woman from Maine, answers an ad to become a wife for Jacob, a widower. A widower means his um, wife had passed away. Caleb and Anna, Jacob's children, fall in love with Sarah. Life on the prairie is different and demanding, and Sarah misses the sea. Will she stay longer than one month, to which she has agreed? All right, so that's kind of like a little introduction. Definitely have some characters there that you can write down over here. It even tells you the setting that you can put over here. So I'm going to continue to find our first key event. The dandelions in the fields have gone by, their heads soft as feathers. The summer roses were opening. Our neighbors, Matthew and Maggie, came to help Papa plow up a new field for corn. Okay, so that sounds like the first thing that's kind of happening is um, these neighbors, Matthew and Maggie, were coming over to help their father um, plow up a new field for corn. So I'm going to take my highlighting tool and I'm going to highlight that. You might need to save it up top sometimes. Okay, then you're going to continue, and then the um, next events that you see happen, you're going to continue highlighting. You're going to be reading pages 22, 23, 24, and 25. The story goes on for tomorrow, so tomorrow you'll read the rest of the story. If you have any questions, please let us know.